everybody another night another movie and i just got done watching 1985's you know just to change it up a bit the care bears movie uh featuring the voices of mickey rooney jackie burrows georgia engel and dan hennessy um <laughs> this one i've seen a good number of times over the years uh obviously primarily when i was a kid but i have seen it a couple of times uh since um i have to say the care bears when i was a kid i was a huge fan uh, and my sister was uh, as well uh, to the point that our bedroom we had care bears wallpaper on the walls and uh, a Care Bears, uh, one of those um, kind of ball light, uh, uh, light covers, um, <clears throat> uh, lampshades, sorry, uh, it had rainbows and clouds and stuff on. Uh, we had Care Bear curtains, uh, we had a, a, a Tender Heart Bear rug um, <clears throat> on the floor. We had the duvet, the bed cover sets, you know, the duvet covers and the pillowcases. Uh, just everything was Care Bears in our room. Uh, which sounds really sad, but bear in mind, you know, I was like eight or something. So, and, and younger. So, yeah, I have a history with this movie. Uh, unfortunately, I don't own the other movies on DVD. Um... I've not been able to find them on Region 2. Uh, I've not really looked in the last year or two, so they may have been released since. But I should cover this one, because obviously this is the one I just watched, and, and it's the only one I've got. So it's an hour and ten minutes long, uh, nice and short for the kids. And it tells a story of... Uh, <laughs> well, you have this, uh, uh, you have this guy, uh, this teenage, young, young teenager, and he's lonely, and he has no friends, and, uh, he, he works for this magician, and he feels kind of trapped, but he's not, he's not getting to show his magic and stuff like that, uh, and he opens up this evil book possessed by a, by a spirit. Uh, which kind of makes me think of Irva Kit, but uh, unfortunately isn't voiced by her. Um, but, uh, uh, so this spirit wants to use him to cast these spells to take over the world, of course, uh, to stop everybody caring. You know, it's, it's basically stop giving a shit, basically, the movie. Um, <laughs> except, uh, meanwhile... Um, I'm not quite clear where Carol is because they talk about the earth as if it's somewhere completely different. Uh, so I guess on another planet called Carol, uh, you have these uh, anthropomorphic uh, bears uh, of many rainbow colours uh, called the Care Bears. Uh, and uh, they just want everybody to care and love and friendship and all that stuff. Uh, and uh, they, uh, kind of the leader, Tender Heart Bear, he sees uh, Nicholas um, kind of uh, make this kind of uh, jump towards turning evil and he wants to stop it. Uh, especially when then spells are cast to stop people caring and uh, there's this like care meter up in uh, uh, Carolot where it starts to go down and Carolot starts to break apart as if earthquakes have gone off and stuff like that. Uh, so basically, if people stop giving a shit, Carolot will cease to exist uh, and the Care Bears need to stop that from happening. Uh, so a couple of them, um, Friend Bear and uh, Secret Bear. I feel so sad as a 30 odd year old woman. Talking about the Care Bears, sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, Friend Bear and Secret Bear, uh, they make these two uh, orphaned kids uh, that I can't remember the name of. of Jason and Lisa. I don't know, anyway. Um, 
and uh, they don't give a shit either. But, you know, the Care Bears help them see, you know, they're like, where are your friends? And that's not remotely creepy. <laughs> and basically they team up with them and then it's all the Care Bears and these two kids basically fighting uh, to make to make Nicholas see that he's wrong and stuff like that and, and fighting the bad and, and trying to make everybody give a shit again. Um, so yeah, it's, it's your classic kids movie. I mean, what can I say about a movie that's for like five-year-olds? Um, it's got a couple of uh, continuer, uh, continuity errors in it that kind of made me nitpick. Uh, but you know what? This is a perfect movie for kids. It's It's got everything in it. It's got bright colours. It's got enjoyable characters. It's got a good moral of everybody caring and, and trying to be friends with each other and stuff. Uh, you know, it's got some not so good but bearable songs. Uh, there's a couple of songs in that I do enjoy, uh, especially the song at the end, uh, uh, Care Bear Family, and um, uh, there's a couple of others, but for the most part, they're not great. And I feel sorry for Carol King, who sings the main theme, because um, she sounds absolutely bored witless. Um, and I feel sorry for her that <laughs> there must be a little lull in her career where she had to do this. Um, even though she was bribed lots and lots of money. Um, but otherwise she sounds absolutely bored going, Carolod is a place of... And it's just like, oh. And, and as somebody who loves Carol King's work, body of work, it's it's kind of sad. Uh, but it's a f the animation's not great. But actually, it's still enjoyable. Uh, a lot of the lip syncing is really well done. Um, it's 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 very of its time, eighties wise. So you know, it's it's probably as good as you were going to get at that time. And I can't imagine that this had the biggest budget. I mean, it, <coughs> it was kind of based off a, a TV show and, and franchise, really. So this was basically made to sell because then. They had the Care Bear Cousins, which were different animals. And this movie is basically a vehicle to, to introduce the uh, Care Bear Cousins. Um, but, you know, it's it's not your most amazing animated movie. I mean, we're not talking about like a, Don Blue, a deep story, like a Don Bluth movie or a Disney movie or something like that. But for what it is... It's a lot of fun. Uh, it is, like I say, ideal for um, younger children. Uh, for me, it's good uh, from a nostalgia point. Um, I guess, I like I say, I grew up with the Care Bears, so it still means a lot to me. I, I don't know what people that have no concept of what these things are, uh, what their reaction to be. But you know what? There's a lot worse polluting children's minds on the Disney Channel at the moment. Uh, so, if you have young kids, if you like your animated films, if you don't mind movies that are geared more towards uh, younger children, um, then you will find this enjoyable. Uh, it, it's Like I say, it's only 70 minutes long, so we're not talking about something that's going to take much of your time up. Uh, it doesn't require much for it, it's but it has i hate to use this word because it's so used so so much within the body of the movie but it has a lot of heart and you know it's that kind of thing that makes you it's totally manipulative don't get me wrong it's totally predictable um but it but it has it does have all that heart that makes you it, God, this sounds awful. It does make you care. Um, the carers, I don't care. The, 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 ki the kids, I don't give much a shit about. Um, but the bears, I enjoy. I love the design of the bears. Um, I just love their attitudes, even though it is really creepy when they just go up to random people going, we're your friends. It's like, uh, okay. 
And even worse is uh, the story is told, uh, uh, this whole movie is basically a story being told to some kids at an orphanage uh, that is run by Nicholas, an older Nicholas, and which who's voiced by Mickey Rooney. And he talks to these kids and it's a little pervy. He sounds like a paedophile when he talks to some of the kids. It's like, uh, okay, awkward. Um, but, but other than that, it's fun. I mean, if you're a kid, you're not going to pick up on those little things. Uh, as an adult, it did kind of stand out. Um, but yeah, this isn't for everybody. And um, at the end of the day, this is a very niche kind of, uh, like I say, we're talking about a, a preschool kind of movie. Um, but, but you know what, you could do a lot worse. Uh, for movies based on TV shows and especially on kids TV shows because a lot of it this reminds me a lot of the Pound, uh, Pound Puppies movie um, Personally, I thought that was better if not somewhat trippy um, but This is not by far the worst animated movie out there It is not by a long shot the worst based on a TV show movie um, So yeah, if you have young kids or if you're looking for something nostalgic, uh, this is worth checking out. But just remember, it is for your, your, your five-year-olds and stuff. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> looks like we've had comedies, we've had horrors, and now officially we've had a preschooler movie. Um, that was 1985's The Care Bears movie. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, with something a bit more adult, probably. Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, but uh, looking forward to seeing your comments. Please, if you grew up with Care Bears, let me know. Uh, and if you know where I can get Care Bears in Wonderland on Region 2 DVD, please let me know because I did enjoy that movie. And that is one of the ones that sticks out in my memory. Um, but uh, yeah, that was tonight's movie back again tomorrow well i will be don't know where i still no word on my computer yet so <laughs> i'm kind of going slightly mad at the moment from lack of computer uh but um thanks again for watching this is sketch signing out